Once upon a time in the heart of a beautiful village, surrounded by lush mountains and whispering rivers, lived the wise Master Li. A sage of the old ways, he was revered for his teachings on inner peace and tranquility. His home was a haven for those weary of the world, a place where they could reconnect with their true selves. The village itself was like a painting come to life, filled with vibrant colors and imbued with a gentle calmness that seemed to emanate from the very earth. One fine morning, a young student named Hiroshi came to the village. His eyes sparkled with curiosity, but his heart was heavy with confusion and uncertainty. He had wandered from town to town, seeking wisdom and guidance, but finding only shallow answers. The whispers of Master Li's teachings had reached his ears, and something within him stirred. He knew that the path he sought lay in this tranquil village with the sage who had touched the lives of so many. Hiroshi's footsteps led him to the door of Master Li, who greeted him with a warm smile, recognizing the longing in the young man's eyes. Without a word, Master Li led Hiroshi to an ancient well in the village's center, its waters calm and deep, reflecting the sky above like a mirror. He handed Hiroshi a small pebble, worn smooth by the passage of time. As Hiroshi held the pebble, he felt a strange connection to it, as if it were a part of him. As he dropped it into the well, the soft splash it made seemed to ripple through him, awakening something within. They listened intently as the sound of the pebble faded into the depths of the well. Master Li's eyes twinkled as he explained to Hiroshi that the well symbolized the human mind, and the sound of the pebble represented the surface-level thoughts that often cloud our judgment. These thoughts, he said, are like ripples on the water, temporary and fleeting, easily disturbed by the winds of emotion and desire. Then, with a grace that seemed to belong to a different era, Master Li lowered a bucket into the well, drawing up a bucket full of crystal clear water. He likened this act to diving deep within oneself through meditation and contemplation. Just as the well held pure water beneath its surface, so too could Hiroshi find his inner voice by delving beyond the surface distractions. Within the wellspring of his consciousness, Clarity, insight, and inner peace awaited. Hiroshi's eyes widened as he began to understand, feeling a profound connection to Master Li's words. In the days that followed, Master Li guided Hiroshi through various practices and teachings, each one a step on the path to self-discovery. They meditated together, observed the beauty of nature, and discussed the philosophies that had shaped the Master's life. Hiroshi felt a change within him, a subtle shift that seemed to bring everything into focus. The once turbulent waters of his mind began to calm, and he felt a sense of serenity he had never known before. Master Li's teachings transcended mere words, becoming a living wisdom that took root within Hiroshi's heart. He began to realize that happiness, like the inner voice, was often found in the depths of our being, beyond the surface distractions of thoughts and emotions. It was not a fleeting sensation or a temporary state, but rather a profound sense of contentment that arises from living in harmony with one's true self. Hiroshi's practice of mindfulness and stillness allowed him to quiet the noise of his mind, and he discovered that happiness was not something to be pursued but a natural state of being that emerged when he aligned himself with his deepest values. As the story of Hiroshi and Master Li comes to a close, it leaves behind an enduring lesson for us all. In the wisdom of the ancient philosophers, happiness is the absence of striving for happiness. By embracing mindfulness and stillness, we can tune into the wisdom that resides within us uncovering a contentment that is not dependent on external circumstances or material success. May we all find the courage to seek the happiness that lies within our hearts and minds, and in doing so, realize that true peace is not a destination, 
but a journey towards understanding and embracing our true selves.